<laughs> well, I tell you what, it's an interesting uh, subject, this, because just a few moments ago, Ray, Kevin and I were talking about when we were young, playing the South East Counties, etc. It was a combination. But Kev, you told us a great story about a kid who was, what, 14, 14 or something? 14 years old. And you tell us the story and then tell us his name after. Well, I was, I was, I was captain at Everton and uh, I'd come back from an ankle um, injury and we were, we were playing a non-league side, so, um, Southport, I think it was, and uh, went to play the game and this kid was playing and I thought he was the coach's nephew <laughs> on the coach. Yeah. So we got on the pitch and he's warming up didn't think anything of it. I thought he's just doing a warm up. <laughs> anyway, started playing, and uh, the, the kid was absolutely unbelievable. And I said, "How old is he?" And he said, "They said he's 14." And I'm thinking to myself, this kid could come straight into the, train with the first team now and hold his own. And I I got taken off on 65 minutes. And normally, as a experienced player, you go in and have your shower. I I, I stayed and I watched. They moved him from striker to left midfield and he, by far he was the best player on the pitch and that lad was Wayne Rooney and at 14 he could have easily came with the first team forward two years Wayne Rooney finishes school he then joins bypasses all of the youth team everything and comes straight to to to, to train with the first team and all the first team players mouths are open how good he was yeah. at 16 wow so I get it yeah, Danny Mills could could say whatever he, he wants to say. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, he, he don't know what he's talking about. When a kid's special, you've got to look after him and you've got to test test him. We all got tested growing up. Danny Mills got tested when he's growing up. Part and parcel of it is being able to handle it. Mm. And whether you're, you, whether you, if you're, if you're good enough, you, you're. Older enough. Certain players mature quicker, though, don't they? Well, than as, others. At yeah. sixteen, Kev. Not just ability-wise, physically, Wayne could handle himself. Hundred percent. So, you, you, as a manager, you got to know that, haven't you? You, you do have to know that, and I think Ethan Nanuiri, that he's trained with the first team quite a bit. Mm. I don't think he's just all of a sudden come with the first team once. He's trained with them quite a bit, so that's why the gut feeling was there. Do you know what? I'm going to give him a go. Yeah, amazing. Ray, you talk about, when I when I hear you, we mentioned Saka earlier and the young players' Arsenal, but you always come back. I know Jack, you you love Jack as a kid, but you also, you love Cesc Fabregas. Oh, Fabregas, what a player. Again, he was he was 15 when he joined Arsenal. He was in he was in the first team, around the first team at 16. And, you know, he, he was always destined to be the top player. Jack was another one who, who started training with, with Thierry Henry and people like, didn't phase him at 15 years old. Uh, he's another guy who could have probably gone straight in. Yeah. Uh, he did make his debut when he was young, but not as, as young as 15, obviously. But I can see both sides of it. Look, you've got to protect players like that. And But we used to be, we were talking about it, Kevin. You know, I, I played in the youth team when I was 16. Yeah. And at 70 minutes, you know, my number went up. And I was thinking, oh, I'm playing well here. Why, why is Pat Rice taking me off? Then he say, go and get changed, son. You're going back to the um, um, Highbury and you've got 20 minutes at the end of the game yeah. in the reserves combination because that's your 90 minutes. But now I'm 16. I'm playing against proper adults. That's right. Men. 33 year olds yeah. who are coming yeah. back from injury and they're going to kick you. Yeah. And so it was a very similar sort of uh, set up there, really. You, am I right? I, I've got a feeling now that the youngsters now are not phased by anything. I remember breaking into the first team with the full house thinking, oh, God, I've got to play well, play, you know. But I, I've got a feeling now they... they but his life will change now, isn't it? Because he's played for Arsenal Football Club and got on that pitch, his life's going to change. You know, yeah. when you walk down the road, people are going to recognise you. People recognise you. You'll but... get to school and people are asking for his autograph and, and stuff like that. So you just, you've got to be careful with youngsters. Ray, like... you do have to be careful, but if you're good enough, that's all part and parcel of being a footballer. When we were younger, we used to have to do duties, and that the hierarchy of the first team was something you aspired to. Now they don't have to do no, that. No. You know, they're just they're on a level. They're abs absolutely on a level. And I had a row with Gordon Taylor about that. You know, from the PFA, he yeah. said cleaning boots. Yeah, I said it done me no harm. Cleaning floors, picking up. We the used to do washing. it every week. That's right. He says, Alan, the, the, the young footballers now they're not cleaners. They're not. Cobblers, they're not. No, it's character. And I went. Well, it didn't mean it did me no harm. D done us no harm because we had to do it. And you That's had a bit of sure. togetherness as well Definitely. by doing it because you've done it in groups. 
So you, you're learning each yeah. other's characters as well yeah. while you're doing it. Team, yeah. team bonding. OK, um, so Danny Mills is talking rubbish, Kev. Yeah, and, Dre- <laughs> and Jason Condy as well. He's, he, he's, no, we know that. We no, know but, that. No, but he, said, he said something that, that got my goal up. What did he say? Go he on. said that Nicola Arteta doesn't care for the young lad, and that's totally wrong. Mikel Arteta cares for the boy, but if you've got something special on your hands, you have to test it. There you go, Jace. Take that. <laughs> Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.